Hello. Today, I'm presenting provocations from hashtag van life, investigating life and work in a community extensively using technology not designed for them. My name is Ali, and my co-authors and I are all from the Touch Lab at the University of Waterloo in Canada. The traditional idea of the home, which is a semi-detached single family residence or an apartment is changing driven by economic pressures, that is rising house prices and near stagnant wages, and the rise of non-traditional work, like gig work, nomadic work, and work connected to adventure travel. As non-traditional homes go, one of the most popular ones is now van life. This popularity has been earned on social media with over 25 million posts about vans on Instagram and 130,000 people post about, posting about van life on more than 300 groups of, on Facebook. Van life involves people living in converted minivans or cargo vans. As stylized in this picture, you can see the bedroom, the closet, and the living room behind the trunk. Van life as a lifestyle is driven by social media. This is where like, the lifestyle is built and showcased to other people, as can be seen Van lifers rely heavily on technology. However, domestic technology is not designed for them. It's designed for a stereotypical home, a North American single family detached house occupied by parents with children. This was noted in a previous paper by Dejadan and all, as they looked at alternate avenues to design technology for homes. In vans, this is especially stark. Instagram, which is the primary mode to showcase your vans, doesn't work due to bad internet. Having two monitors or a game set up in a van doesn't work because you need too much power and space. Finally, the cost of alleviating these issues is just too high for most van lifers to afford. With this understanding, we we'll decided to explore van life and see how technology usage works in the community and the organizing, how the technology is placed in the vans themselves, and how van lifers perceive their relationship with technology. We did this through a field study of over 200 hours, where we studied public spaces, understood narratives, wrote memos, and our own reflections. We also conducted interviews and got audio recordings, pictures, and 360-degree videos. Through this media, we were able to build a visual cultural portrait. Through our coding, we identified 13 themes in three categories of data. We identified the design space that van life inhabits. All these findings were abstracted into 11 provocations for further research and design. 10 of these reflected themes that we identified. The final one was a finding that we got to when we were trying to recruit people for the study. Van lifers inhabit a unique design space. The physical space available to them is only 70 to 150 square feet for their entire homes. The internet in their home goes from nothing at all to hyper fast internet in some locations. They don't have enough power and the power is dependent on either you them using a gas generator or the number of solar panels they can carry, which is usually not a lot. Finally, to alleviate any of these problems would require additional income, but van lifers usually have limited disposable income. On noting every, all the themes we found, we decided to present them as provocations. Each provocation is presented as a description of the provocation. Quotes and researcher notes with this participant quotes as well as the space IDs. And finally, a description of the space that we believe will inspire critical thought, further design or research. We conclude the discussion. The discussion contains the other insights. This includes the three themes that were not made into provocations. We also talk about the demographics and who arrives around life the people themselves. Thirdly, we talk about how van life is distinct from homelessness, a distinction that is not easily made. A lot of people thinking that van life is a last resort when people are going into homelessness. We also talk about the limitations of our research. For more details, read our paper. Thank you so much.